What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to episode 5 of my Swansea City career mode. Uh, thanks for all the support on the last couple of episodes and whatnot, I've actually been surprised by the amount of people that are tuning in and watching. But uh, yeah, today is the release of FIFA 17, as you can see our team starting up there. Just a quick um, side note, I am starting Llorente and Jefferson Montero there again. I've, like I said in the last episode, they, I've got no reason to drop them at the moment, but uh, yeah, again, like I said in the last episode, I will try and start easing in Memphis and uh, Boja Baston. Someone commented in the last couple of videos as Baston got his real face. He doesn't on this game, which is a bit of a gutter. But uh, he, he does look kind of kind of like himself. But uh, yeah, so Swansea City playing up against Manchester City. Um, like I said, today is the release day of FIFA 17, so hopefully all of you have got a copy. I'm thinking of doing... I'm definitely going to do an Ultimate Team Series. I'm definitely going to do a Pro Club Series. But one thing I, I want to ask all of you right now, early on in the video, is this career mode right here is on um, with Swansea City is on Xbox because I wanted the early access. I play the early access for this. Um, but I've I've bought FIFA 17 for PS3 because that's what all my friends play. That's I, I kind of prefer the PlayStation as well. Uh, not to get into this whole Xbox PS3 war, but Barrow with a good chance here. Poor goalkeeping and Sigurdsson puts us one nil up early on into the game. You could see. I was talking through all of that, which I apologise for, but you could see from where I started that move right in the defence. It was such good build-up, but yeah. On to what I want to talk about. So like I said, I've got, um, as my FIFA's playing on the screen, let me turn the volume down. Uh, yeah, as I said, as I said just now, I bought, uh, this is on Xbox right now, but I'm getting it on PS3. Oh, sorry, I think I said PS3 earlier. Um, but I'm getting it on PS4, and that's going to be the one I'm playing on. That's going to be the one that I'm setting my Ultimate Team Series up on. Um, but I want to know whether you guys think I should start a, a brand new career mode on PS4 or whether you guys, if because if you guys want to see this career mode keep on uh, over the course of FIFA 17 as Vol makes a good save there, then I, I don't mind at all buying it for Xbox One and I'll can continue this series on then um, and have a good save by Vol. But yeah, let me know down below whether you think I should start a new uh, career mode and if so with what team uh, or if not then you know tell me. You want to see this career mode continue, and I'll start. I'll keep going with Swans, and I've got no problem doing that. But uh, yeah, onto actual gameplay. We went one 0 up. Was kind of confident, and this is just a shambles. You, Kingsley. He goes to pass it to Oxford. Curtis Davis gets in the way, and when Aguero gets a chance like that, Aguero does not miss. End of. Um, poor play. I didn't. I could have avoided that so easily. It was a poor throw out from Vo uh, throw out from Vorm to start off with. I think it was Barra that controlled it badly. And the Kingsley Curtis Davis got in the way. Um, and yeah, it was just a shambles. And pretty much, you could see all the chances they had in succession there from the corners and whatnot. City really wanted to get themselves back into this game. Um, and, you know, obviously they were trying their best and they were doing well. The quality of players they have on the pitch is so hard to keep them out. And as you can see, Aguero in quick succession and 2-1 down. Easy as that. That's what Aguero does. He scores. That was such a good finish. Um, he hit it on sort of like the half turn. Uh, like I said, really good finish, but uh, we were trying to pile on some pressure here just before half time. Didn't manage to get a goal. And we really had it cut out for ourselves. I think this game in real life finished 3 1. Um, you're into with a goal as Sigerson goes for team shot. I, w I was having to settle for chances like that from outside the box just because City, the way they lined up was so good. And obviously, they're the scoring goals in attack because they've got such a good quality of players on the pitch. But uh, you see Lira Fair there into Jefferson Montero. See Sigerson in a bit of space. Into Mobaro. Got a decent chance here. He'll shoot. And it's a decent save by Willy Caballero. I don't think that Claudio Bravo was actually on the bench at the start of this game. I don't know whether you, any of you guys caught um, caught if he did or not. But uh, here we go, Leroy Fair. Good bit of attacking player. Into Mobaro, who we tried to use quite a bit in this game. It's still Mobaro. Into Fair. Into Kyle Norton, who goes for the shot, and it's a good block. Actually, somehow managed to go out for a goal kick. But uh, City were coming forward. You got no one came on at half time. Be some bit of skill by him there, just own Curtis Davis completely. And the ball through to Aguero, nearly, nearly tries the cheeky little finish into the, the, the back heel into the bottom corner. Nearly paid off for him, but I think it was Kingsley who managed to get back on the line. But uh, we were putting pressure on, it's Leroy Fair bombing forward, who I've been impressed with. Uh, I will add, it's still Leroy Fair. I was trying to get the right pass into Llorente, into uh, Modal Barro, and I just completely snapped at that chance. I should have taken a touch, put it on to his left foot. That was the comeback into the game right there, but 
As, as you can see, City are going down. Aguero just caused problems for me all game. And here he is, Leroy Fairmarket him. Got a cross in block, but Leroy Sane at the back post should nowhere near be winning headers in there. Um, he's kind of tall, but he's probably not the best in there. Um, but yeah, just poor marking, poor play all round. I think De Bruyne could have gone on that if he wanted to as well. And we find ourselves 3-1 down uh, with very little time left in the game to come back. I mean, even if I did have time, I don't think... I'd be scoring three goals past City, but Jack Hawk, uh, I believe, came on into Baston, into Stephen Kingsley, and he scores <laughs> with his right foot. It was such a bad shot, and I was so confused at the time because I thought it was Sigurdsson. And obviously, I put it on. I thought it was Sigurdsson going through, so I put it on to his right foot. I would have shot with his left if I know, but I put it on to his right foot and expected him just to finesse it into the bottom right corner, which he kind of did, but uh, Kingsley. Uh, he managed to get forward uh, and uh, he gets his first goal of the season but Sterling here with a good chance late on in the game to kill me off he tried to square it across to Aguero for his hat-trick but Vaughan was there um, and yeah that's the end of the game 3-2 it's not a bad result I'll take it scoring two goals against City um, keeping Aguero to two goals is, is an achievement in itself as well he's such a good player um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't really expect too much from this game. A draw would have been probably my optimistic result, but uh, a defeat. It was a decent performance from us. It was just defensively we looked a bit lacklustre. As you can see, don't don't be scared to pause the table at any point if you guys want to do that. As you can see, I'm seventh in the table. Uh, three wins, two losses, which isn't too bad from the fixtures I've had, I think. I mean, I think I've pretty much won the games that I should have won. Um, with the exception of Chelsea, you know, obviously that's that people would have been favouring Chelsea for that. Um, yeah, and I lost against Leicester and Man City just then. But uh, our next game was at St Mary's Stadium, away to Southampton. I believe we lost this 1-0 in real life, but it could have been literally about 7 or 8 nil. Swans were absolutely pathetic in this game. Uh, and as you can see here, we lost the last game, so I'm actually first starts for... Um, Boja Baston and Memphis Depay. Also, Jordi Amat comes in as centre half. I think Oxford was injured, uh, but regardless, I was going to switch him out for this game because this game, as you can see, it's it's in the night. It was a midweek fixture, I believe. Um, so yeah, I was just gonna gonna change the team around a little bit. But you're Sigurdsson into more Baro. As you can see, he's got a lot of space there. Ryan Bertrand likes to get forward, so I'm kind of excited to see what what that would uh, entail for the rest of the game. But Sigurdsson, lovely bit of skill into the back post, and Memphis so close to getting his head on that. I really enjoyed that bit of play from Sigurdsson. It was such good play. He managed to get around the defender, and as you can see, Sigurdsson on the ball again. Really, really neat ball through to Memphis Depay, and he's gonna look for someone in the middle. I don't know what that hit of Borja Baston, I think it was his thigh, and he tried to back heel there like Aguero did in the last game. Uh, so unlucky not to be 1-0 up early on in this game, uh, but he was Memphis on the left wing, was involved a lot, didn't manage to, to get past the defender there, but he tackles him in a weird bit of play, and there's still Memphis into Borja Baston, and it's nearly out for a throw-in. I thought that was a penalty, I don't know how that wasn't a penalty. He just kind of took the back leg as I was going for the shot, but uh, we still got the ball attacking here. Is I think that was key into Sigurdsson, didn't manage to get a good attack out of it. Um, is that key? Am I right in saying that's key? Yeah, I, I didn't even realise I started him, but uh, key Sing, I actually really like Key Sung Young, but uh, here's Rangel into key. You look for Leon Britton in the middle there, into Baston, decent bit of play by us, and... I didn't really know where to, where to go there for Baston, so I went backwards uh, into Sigurdsson. Lovely bit of a turn there. Came inside into Leon Britton, and he nearly had his first goal of the season. Don't expect uh, Leon Britton to score much goals this season. I don't think it's going to happen personally. But um, a quick counter attack towards the end of the first half, and the ref referee blows up. I, I don't think anything would have come of that anyway, even though I was in a decent position. But uh, Southampton, this is pretty much their first chance of the game. Harrison Reed managed to get it in to this striker. I think it was Shane Long. Really should have done a lot better, but it was a cracking save from Vaughan regardless. Uh, and another chance here of Vaughan with the save. Vaughan has been really impressive so far this season, guys. Um, I really like him. I had a couple of comments on the last episode as well about signing a new left back, so I'll definitely be looking at it when January comes. But Memphis, good bit of skill into Baston, through to Sigurdsson, shoots, poor save from the keeper, and Baston gets a goal on his uh, on his starting debut. I think I think this is the first time he started in the in the league, uh, and he gets his goal. It, it couldn't miss really, but uh, that's what, that's what happened for the the last game. I think it was Lorente that took a shot. Awful keeping. The keeper just parries it into the path of Baston this time. Keeper parried in the path of Sigurdsson last time. Sigurdsson, it was an awful shot. Met with an awful save. All round an awful goal. But um, 
a goal's a goal, so I'll take it. But uh, we get a counter attack going here, usually on Britain. Obviously, Depay in front of him there. He passes the ball to Baston, who then in turn passes the ball through to Depay. Really good chance. The defender does well to get back, and I just take too much of a heavy touch. That would have been a dream start for uh, for Depay. I know he's played in a couple of games before, but his first starting game, just like Boja Baston, it would have been nice for them both to get a goal. But Stephen Davis here on the edge of the box. Another decent chance for Southampton. I really thought that was going in. I was scared. Um, oh, one thing I want to mention as well, guys. I, I think that my quality is pretty good. But the Astros have got this weird thing where um, when I'm not talking, the sound cuts out completely. And then when I start talking again, it kind of doesn't pick up until I'm like halfway through the first word. If you guys A, know how to change that, please uh, please let me know. I, I have fiddled about with the settings a little bit, couldn't find anything. Good chance for Barrow. Just like the Man City game, he snaps at the chance. It is my fault, really. I should be taking my time with him. But uh, yeah, regardless of, of the mic situation anyway, I have ordered a new mic. I believe I ordered a, a blue snowball. Which I've heard are pretty good, like the best entry level mics uh, on the market. So that should be coming soon. Uh, and yeah, like I said, Ultimate Team gameplays will be coming soon. Uh, this is probably the last time I'll mention that in a career mode series because I, I want to keep career mode completely separate with the Ultimate Team. But uh, we were getting forward here. Kingsley got a goal in the last game. Managed to find himself getting forward. And Depay there. Again, I just kind of snatched at the chances and I should be taking my time. A decent attempt there, and he hits the post. Uh, I think that was Baston that hit the post there. But, um, yeah, to be honest, this game, we were all over Southampton. We just couldn't really find the, f the finishing product. Rangel started this game as well, I forgot to mention that. Uh, another half chance there. It was just half chance after half chance. I think a lot of them I should have scored. I think Depay, you throws a shot wide. Um, but he looks a really solid player, Memphis. I'm glad I got him in the team. But uh, yeah, this episode is coming to a close, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave comments about the things I mentioned in this video down in the description below. Uh, one nil away to Southampton. I'll take it. A clean sheet is decent. Maybe do a, a double upload today of some Ultimate Team. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, peace.